I've already shuffled. And I also pulled two Oracle cards for your recent past. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. So Scorpio, in the recent past we have love yourself first, and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And love yourself first is paired with gift. And on the flip side of this card, it says grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it, feel worthy enough to deserve it, or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. So what I'm picking up for some of you Scorpios in the recent past, you finally realize that you were the prize. You were no longer a doormat to men, to your friends, to family. You realize you were the gift. Your um, self worth, self, self, your self worth was finally discovered. So I feel, I'm feeling like I'm talking to a lot of women out there. Probably, um, yeah, probably young women and probably mature older women who just maybe came to realization that to your prize, you are the prize. Because a lot of women, they get caught up into thinking that, um, their self-worth depends on whether or not they're in a relationship or if they have a man. And if they don't have one, they don't feel worthy enough. So for a lot of you, you realize that um, you, you're just a prize. You're the gift, even if it's just you, yourself. And... Um, this also made um, you love yourself more and your self-respect that you got from this, it made you more romantically attractive to others. So you, you start attracting more quality because you knew, you finally realized you're the prize, which was a good thing because you, you attracted um, the type that the people that you attract, they were better quality. Self-respect made you more attractive. So this is a good thing for women because I know a lot of women, a lot of ladies and girls, they suffer from low self-esteem. So what do you, whatever you have to do to make yourself feel more confident, Mm, feel like I'm talking to a lot of women out there. Um, more makeup, you know, the clothes you wear. A lot of things can, you know, make you feel better about yourself. So maybe that's what you did. You took the fashion or you made sure your makeup was always on point. Or you did something. Maybe you read some self-help books self-esteem books but you started to love yourself first and then you realize that you were the prize which was a good thing because you like I said you were no longer a doormat yeah you knew that you were the gift which is a good thing self-esteem is is always the key so that's what we have for some of you in the recent past Scorpio now let's get to what you came here for, and that's your reading. So in the present time, we have the Eight of Cups, and it's paired with a Knight of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Cups, you probably, you're going to feel like leaving some type of situation. 
that's no longer working for you. You could be thinking about that right now, but towards the end of the month, you'll probably have some strong feelings like that. Whether it's a relationship, could be a job, could be a neighborhood. There's gonna be some type of sadness involved. But just keep, keep in mind, this separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. Also, if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship job, living arrangement, just trust yourself. Instead of this news coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, this usually means that you're the one who's going to make this choice. Often when one door closes, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. So just keep that in mind. When the Eight of Cups talks about love and relationships, you may decide that a long-term relationship is going to end. And if you're sure about this, make sure you don't wait for the right time because there's never going to be a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. But you might not want to jump into a new relationship right away. You might need to give yourself some time. So we have this Eight of Cups paired with the Knight of Pentacles, which points to some type of message. It could have something to do with money, finance, because when you hear the word Pentacles, that's cash, coins, finance, income. So some type of message you know, will be coming in towards the end of the month regarding this. Um, or, or it could be some type of news that you've been waiting on. Maybe not regarding finance, but some really good news. It's, it's good news with the Knight of Pentacles. It's coming in towards the end of the month. Um, it's, it tells you to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your Life, that's what the Knight of Pentacles does also. Uh, you probably heard the saying that if you take care of the little things, the big things usually fall into place. Well, the Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. So when it talks about love and relationships, it points to responsibility and duty. That's a part of any love relationship. Love is not always wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through rough spots and to work on the relationship. So you might be asking yourself some questions towards the end of the month, such as how well are you meeting your responsibilities? If you are looking for love, there's some single Scorpios out there and you get the Knight of Pentacles. It's a clear signal that you probably need to switch up your routine. Try new things if you want to meet someone new. Because your usual search, it probably leaves very little to be desired. So try to switch up things. Do something different, a different approach. So for the present time, Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Let's see, it looks like... Hmm, there's some type of good news coming in for you. And you're excited to take action with this Knight of Pentacles when you get this good news. You're really happy it came in. But it looks like you gotta you gotta go through some type of separation just to get this good news or when you get this good news there needs to be some type of leaving behind something. Or it involves you leaving behind something and then you get this this great news that you're excited to to receive. So and it could have something to do with money. Because like I said, the pinnacles, it indicates finance. Um, it could be something that's some type of news that's gonna finally make you really stable. Yeah, so this is a good thing, but there's some type of separation that's going to leave you really sad. <laughs> Could be a little while. 
Um, you could find that you need to walk away from something, and then, then all of a sudden you get this really, really good news, and you're excited to take action. So, yeah, this could be you or someone coming towards you like this. Um, maybe someone you know is walking away. And then it brings you something better. So, take it as you, as you know your situation. But some type of separation is coming up. And, uh, it could be like a neighborhood that you stayed, you lived at for years, and now you're finally moving away or going to college. And then all of a sudden this wonderful thing happens with this Knight of Pentacles. Wonderful thing. Really good thing. So you'll be sad for a little while, but then, whoa, all of a sudden things just take off in a really great way. So be prepared for that. Probably coming towards the beginning of April. Now let's take a look at how your person may see you. They see you as the devil and six of swords. So just to explain this, the devil card, first things first. Don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. Uh, if you come to that conclusion, make sure you come to that conclusion on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember. You can, fr you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feelings that you're not in control of your life when you get this devil card. Sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of no action. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Just know that small steps, they're important. So, uh, the devil card is about addictions. Things that you just feel like you don't have control over. When it talks about love and relationships, if you're already in a romantic relationship, one or both of you have gotten to the point where you could feel that you're trapped in the situation. And if you get the signal that this is the case, you probably want to try to talk about it if you want to save a relationship. So sometimes this card can mean that there's really nothing that can be done but to end an unhealthy relationship. We all have choices, but you're going to need to take steps to keep the magic alive. It could be how you're feeling towards the end of the month. Or you could be feeling that way now. Because uh, the devil energy, it just doesn't happen overnight. The things that you do that create it. Or you could be, could be born with some type of devil energy that just... You, you just don't know how to shake or you feel like you can't shake it. Um, but this is how your person is seeing you. They see you with some some toxic energy that you bring to this connection. Or they could see you just not in control of your life. Uh, there could be some greed, envy, materialism, obsession, obsession, sexual lust. Some type of addictions that they see you have. Uh, too much heavy drinking. Uh, this is how they see you. They also see you as this Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords, it's about a need for change of scenery. Um, if you're in a relationship, you might want to take your person on a trip. Even if it's just down the street for a picnic or something of that sort. And if there's some single Scorpios out there listening and you're looking for love and you get the Six of Swords, um, it points to a need to get out, get out of your routine. Once again, as I said before, your usual search. Uh, it's, um, you need to switch it up. 
if you want to meet someone new. You're going to have to explore. So that's pretty heavy in your reading for single Scorpios. you got to switch up your routine if you want to meet someone new. Now, back to how they see you. They see you as a Six of Swords and the Devil. So you got some, some, some addictions or your life is just not in control or where it should be. And um, so they, they see that you need some type of transition. Maybe relocating or moving, but they see you need to make a change where you are inwardly. Usually this change will be for the better. And they see this will help bring some resolution. So they see that you've got some issues, Scorpio. Some devil energy. And uh, it's probably affecting this connection. And they figure if you need some type of change inwardly, um, some, type, some type of movement. Yeah. And it will bring about a resolution and recovery. So they, they, um, they see you as needing to make some changes in your life, because whatever it is, it's, whatever you're you're dealing with, it's probably causing some issues in this, some problems in this connection. So let's take a look at how you see your person. You see them as the two of pentacles. You also see them as justice. No, the Two of Pentacles is about two main issues at front. You may need to pull back from trying to do too many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. You may need to cut down on the things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. So be sure you're paying attention there. And I say that because, like I said, the Pentacles is about money finance. And you see how this man is juggling? Yes, he's juggling up in the air, so he's got a lot of juggling he's doing, and he just needs to focus on just bring it down to two things. When the Two of Pentacles talks about uh, love and relationships, um, you or your person may be having trouble finding energy, time for each other, so, to make sure that the relationship remains high on your priority list, you probably need to find time for each other. Otherwise, it probably will not be there for you when you come back. And if you're looking for love and you get the Two of Pentacles, don't tell yourself that you are ready if you're truly not. If you're really not looking for a relationship or if you're not ready, because um, just know you don't have to be perfect. But you do have to be willing to create time, space, and energy to put into a realm for romance. So, this is how you see your person. You see them juggling. They've got too much going on, and multitasking is really not their friend. So you see them as not, probably not putting you very high on the priority list, which is probably causing a problem. Now, you also see them as justice. Justice is um, pretty interesting when it talks about love and relationships. If you're asking a question whether you and your long-term partner are likely to stay together and you get justice, often the answer is that you'll probably choose to go your separate ways. On the other hand, if you're single, this is a time when commitment may be coming your way shortly. So stay clear about what you want most from a relationship. You're likely to find it that much sooner. So justice can be about karma. Things that you put out are coming back to you. You're reaping what you have sown. So you're seeing them as, like I said, the two of pinnacles and justice. They're, um, they have several tasks. They, they do a lot of juggling. And um, 
to the justice. You see them as getting some truth and clarity. Um, you see them as thinking that they have a right to do so. So they could be hmm, not making you a priority. And because this justice talks about going your separate ways, um, you could see them as hmm, You see them as, I don't know, you probably see them as they think they have the right to do all these things. Are, are they juggling more than you? They have more than one, they have more than you. I'm picking up they have more than, you're not the only person they're dealing with. Because I say that because it's with the justice card. So you see them as thinking that that's what they're entitled to do this. Yeah. So they could be juggling more than you. It could have you and, and other people. But because it's with justice, they think they have the right to do so. They think it's their right. They don't see anything wrong with, with all this juggling. So, yeah, they think that's, that's how it should be. So, let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Swords, it's about an upbeat, cheerful energy. This can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight points to physical, emotional, and spiritual energy at a peak. If you're waiting on news from someone or something, you are likely to like what you hear. You want to hear this news? You're excited to take action once again. We talked about that before. So, the Snot of Swords is also about a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. Uh, you probably won't feel like waiting for anything to come to you. This is a good thing, so you'll be going after whatever your heart desires. Now, the Knight of Swords, when it talks about love and relationships, you could... Um, be swept off your feet by someone, whether you're male or female. If you're in a relationship, it may be about to brighten up a bit, become a whole lot more deeper, more satisfying. If you're looking for love, you're single, it may come along when you least expect it. So make sure you're having some sort of contact with other people. You're going to need to do this for the door to open. So get dressed up and make sure you're going out. So that explains the Knight of Swords, all right? You see this man on this horse with his sword in his hand? He's going really fast. He's charged up. He's ready for action. He's ready to come in and sweep someone off their feet. He's planning. It's all about action. It's impulsiveness. Fast talking. It's a lifestyle change. So this is why it's happening. One of the reasons why it's happening because uh, you or your person is really planning to keep this connection going. Uh, wanting to get this connection uh, accomplished in a good way. So someone has no plans on, on uh, walking away. Someone is in it for the long haul. Now, why it's all happening also is because of the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is a really good one. You see this man, he's down there with this tree, and he's got his shovel, 
uh, he's taking care of that that plant or that tree. He's got it, all his money invested in it. Those are pinnacles on that tree, those little round things. He put all his money into it. You see how he's got them sitting on the, on the stems of the tree? This man, he really wants this plant to, to grow. He's working on it every day. And this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Seven of Pentacles, it points to things going well. Okay, it's going well, and um, Seven of Pentacles is about returns on investments. It could mean return on a bank account, returning money to you, or figure, figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you've sown. So this is positive. Like I said, the picture says it all, really. The picture says it all. So, once again, why it's happening, uh, someone in this connection is really, really working hard to make it, to make it continue. Um, bringing good things into this connection. Or this is what someone wants to do with the Seven of Swords. And, once again, with Seven of Pentacles is just as good. Someone really wants this connection to work. They're willing to put put all put their all into it. Their their earnings, their their time, whatever it takes to make it grow. So that's why it's happening. Two two really good reasons why it's happening. Someone wants to charge forward and um, get it back on track. And then you got someone else who wants to um, make sure it continues to grow. So, yeah, that's your reading, Scorpio. I usually do a recap, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. What I'm going to do is I'll put a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. I thank you once again so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope 2020 is going well for you. I hope March is a beautiful month for you. And... Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.